Hello everyone, it's me, Pam P. Tanino, and I'm really excited to bring this video to you today because I am part of a hashtag event with a group of friends um, doing an art crawl uh, called um, the Wizard of Oz Art and I get to be the scarecrow. So here is my rendition of the scarecrow. She is wearing paisley pants with butterflies, lots of jewelry. Her arms are made of um, oh, jewelry and some blossoms. From and her face is made from a gourd that actually grew right here on the scaffolding last year. Um, so she's got a little little bird and some faux flowers on her. Um, just lots of fun. And her hat was painted yellow. And so the wind chimes in her belly are um, were made just for her. And she has a eucalyptus belt. <laughs> she's taller than me. So just lots and lots of fun. Um, okay, I'm going to create an eye card in the upper corner that you can click on to see the entire playlist. Be sure to click on the uh, description below so that you can um, get a direct link to people's channels as well as, you know, if you're inspired by any of the art that you see. If this hashtag art crawl, uh, Wizard of Art, Wizard of Oz art inspires you to do your own art, please check the description below. Uh, we would love to add you to our playlist and uh, it gives you details on how to do that, um, what hashtag to use and, and uh, where to leave the uh, links. And uh, we would be more than happy to add you to our playlist. That would be so much fun. And um, so I hope that you enjoy and I'm going to go now to show you the process of how I put her together. All right, enjoy. It took me 35 minutes to go through and round things up throughout the yard and the cottage and the workshop and my bedroom. <laughs> so here's what I came up with. And I had to move my camera because I got all this stuff spread out over here. There wasn't room over on the other side. So I have I grew these gourds last year and they've been out in my cottage um, drying out. So, and this is the first time ever that I'm going to be working with, um, with gourds. What's funny is I just planted my gourds and the gourd seeds, and look, you got to see this. These are my little baby spinner gourds. Aren't they cute? They for the body part, for the form, I was thinking something like this. Oh, that's just my size. And I forgot about something. It has to have a hat. So look at this hat. I had to go out to the workshop for it, but isn't that perfect?
put my knees, bend my knees, okay, and then I put them on the outer side because I can squeeze. Oh yeah, this is going to work out really good. So I have the drill bit that I need. Here we have the uh, assembly materials for um, attaching the gourd head and the first thing I did was I took this um, lid to a uh, canned good and poked a hole in it using a, a hammer and a nail and uh, I took that outside to do it. Okay, unfortunately I had no usable footage for showing the assembly, so I'm going to just do a quick sketch. I'm not good at drawing, so please bear with me, but this just gives you an idea of how it went together. So here is the grapevine wreath, and then I had a dowel that went down through the wreath, and that was a little thicker. All right, and then to this end, I attached a small eye hook, and that's where the chimes got attached. Then um, here, I attached the, whoops, okay, so between the gourd and the wreath, I made a, I cut up a plastic lid, just a disposable plastic lid, and cut off the rim, cut a big hole in the middle of it, and, um, you know, it was like this, and a hole so that the dowel could go through, and um, cut off this rim. And that was just to protect the gourd from rubbing up against the, um, the grapevine. So then I attached the gourd like this. Oh, this is such a horrible drawing. <laughs> With a little bit sticking out. On this little part that's sticking out, I attached a rubber um, one of those rubber end cap protects, protectors. So that went on the outside over the top of that. 
And then on that, there was a, a cap from a paint can. And you know how inside the cap, how they have a, um, an inner portion for the, to protect the nozzle? Well, this inner part fit over here perfectly. It was just meant to be. It was so perfect. So then, after that, um, I had the straw that I had duct taped and then glued, um, you know, just some strands. And then I had some going also in the back. So, um, so there was that. And then we had the hat and the floppy hat. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and on top of the hat, we had the lid to the uh, tin can. And so all of this was attached with a screw and so that is the assembly for getting them together and then I attached um, the branches I just stuck in here and they were um, for the arms and then the post was just shoved into the ground and I did use a Christmas tree holder um, for the base and then I attached some uh, fishing line to the um, to the scaffolding just to keep her upright until I get her settled in really well. But um, but yeah, this is how I attach the gourd. I please do go visit my friends. Uh, follow the link in the i card or um, the links are down below in the description and. Uh, check out all of the artists. Be sure if you are inspired by any of the art that you see and would like to be included on our playlist, check out the information below um, with the details on the uh, on how to tag us and do the uh, hashtag. Um, leave that in the in the comments. Okay, so uh, I hope to see you. I'm looking forward to your art. All right. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, do leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I want to thank you. And until next time, bye. I want to thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, have not already subscribed to me, please do so. And uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to interact with you there. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.